Hello everyone, get this whole hair back for another video. In this video, I am doing a three-way collab with myself, Mystic Star Magic, and Monique M. This is going to be a reading regarding what's coming up for you regarding the Jupiter retrograde, what to focus on, just the blessings that are coming towards you during this planetary shift. Um... So we have three piles, one, two, three. My phone stand broke um, earlier last week, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, so choose whatever you feel called to pick. You can even watch all three if you'd like. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share if you feel inclined to also make sure to head on over to mystic star magic's channel and monique m's channel to get extended messages and maybe get more confirmation from what i am telling you here please keep in mind that this reading is for entertainment purposes only and it's not at all to substitute for any legal financial medical or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional free will is a way of life we're all in control over our own destinies in the end this reading is likely not going to resonate with everyone, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you like a book, private readings, contact me or anything of the sort. Everything is going to be listed in the description box as always. Let's go ahead and get started. So pile one, this is your reading. Bear with the setup. It is the only way that I can do videos at the moment due to my phone stand being broke. But this is going to be blessings coming to you in the Jupiter retrograde. So, retrogrades do not always have to be negative. It can definitely bring some positive sides as well if you're looking from a deeper perspective. So, keep that in mind. So, let's see here. I'm going to focus on, I put the smaller cards on top here because i didn't want them to get lost in the shuffle but let's see what comes up here we have last quarter moon and capricorn leave the past behind so the blessings that are coming to you in the jupiter retrograde would have to do with you sacrificing something leaving something in the past no longer taking action towards something that is not pursuing any uh interest in you or taking any actions toward you this could be a person or a situation or for some of you it could even be a work situation as well which is the main energy i'm getting for some of you um once you let something go you're definitely going to receive more abundance and more prosperity and a lot to gain in the future. We have protection. And right now, I feel like not only is protection going to be um, brought to you during this Jupiter retrograde, but I am also getting a feeling of their that you're protecting yourself from something by holding on to something in the past. You feel like for whatever reason you shouldn't move forward or maybe you just feel like you can't for whatever reason. Um, you are staying put because you feel like you're going to get hurt or something's going to happen if you take action, if you move forward. But the reality is just sitting put is actually going to hold you back even further in the past. It's going to repeat itself and it's not going to be a good thing. Um, so yeah, I do see also love, peace, harmony coming to you with the number six with four plus two on 24 here. Um, let's see here. Third eye chakra, your intuition is heightened, your vision is clear you're receiving more clarity about things that you've been confused about it says you it, it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all its of its forms such as angels auras and visions so this is for my psychic people out there or people that are trying to develop their gifts your third eye chakra is definitely going to be more opened and more noticeably heightened um within this jupiter retrograde so make sure you're following your intuition accordingly 
You're not making hasty decisions. You're following your intuition before you're making certain decisions. You're not reacting on impulse. Um, you can work with um, your third eye chakra, balance it, align it, heal it, open it. Working with amethyst crystals. Um, I don't have any near me at the moment because I am not in my usual recording space. I'm actually at my sister's house and have been for the past few days. Um, but yeah, working with amethyst, wearing or working with the color violets or purple, um, things like that. So, all right, we have childhood. So I feel like this is going to open up opportunities for you to work with your inner child, for you to have fun, for you to create or recreate memories, I feel. Maybe you feel like you are too old for doing things like this, just putting things together. But I do feel that there is a need to give yourself a chance during this Jupiter retrograde so that you can open up a lot of doors for yourself. Your creativity, even if it seems childish, even if it seems um, like other people might downplay it. I feel like you're not giving yourself a fair chance. Um, being a kid, I feel like it's going to um, allow you to really manifest a lot of wholesome blessings in your life. Not just for the Jupiter retrograde, but just generally speaking, even after this retrograde. Okay, so we have love and relationships. So releasing the past or leaving something behind in the past, it could be due to a love uh, connection that you may need to let go of or certain aspects of it you need to let go of. Um, could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. There looks to be some significant changes in a love connection here due to this Jupiter retrograde. Uh, maybe you guys are starting over with somebody because you have let the past go and you're giving this person a chance. This person could even be from your childhood or somebody that you've known for a very long time somebody with the sense of familiarity even they may even be from your past life so let's see here or right the jupiter retrograde for some of you can solely be focused on a relationship um, or finding love or recommitting yourself to someone or just love in general not even just romantic love but self-love and love from friends and family and new connections as well we have peace after chaos disguise so the chaos here during the jupiter retrograde that's going to be brought to you pile one is that you it's going to be a blessing in disguise which you will later on realize okay it's going to create peace. It's going to create divine order in your life. It is going to create structure, self-discipline. It is going to allow for you to learn patience and to be able to trust in the process. You no longer have to sleep with one eye open anymore is what I hear. You no longer have to walk around on eggshells. Okay, let's see here. We have Ascendant, which is Outlook. And it reads, oh, worldview, mission, statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body, image, or likeness. Speaking of aura, we talked about auras before with the uh, third eye chakra. So it's coming out again. Um, likeness, approach, impacts, first impressions. Um, you're going to see a lot of people show their true colors. The true colors are going to be revealed and it's going to teach you how to treat this person moving forward, whether you have to treat them with um, respect or you may have to set some boundaries. I would say to respect the person anyways, but of course, if they come at you a different way, there's an approach that you can take that will be less hasty. So we also have the sun. The sun is generally speaking, when we're looking in tarot, new beginnings um happiness 
it goes back to creativity again. So with the childhood card there. Um, it says essence, energy, self-awareness, life force, spirit, spirit, creativity, honor, masculinity, distinction, childishness, which goes back to here. Um, ego, individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, shine, heartbeat, father. Just remember that you are the creator of your own destiny. Somebody somewhere is going to understand your childlike imagination, your childlike um, essence in the way that you create. So don't downplay it. You are just being who you are. So we got the ant perseverance and it says this is a message of patience like i said before we talked about patience whatever is going on right now you cannot be so impetuous by pacing yourself the end result will be far more rewarding slow down don't rush work carefully and learn to accept help from others for some of you this jupiter retrograde some type of connection it doesn't have to be romance but for some of you it can i feel like for a few of you it is uh romance somebody you don't expect is going to offer you some type of help don't rush into allowing them to help you know but don't um don't overanalyze it and don't be so quick to shrug it off your shoulders do allow help do know that just because somebody helps you or offers you help, that doesn't mean you're not capable of doing something on your own. It just simply means that you, you just need a leg up. Sometimes knowing the right people and being in the right place at the right time can help you manifest what it is that you're needing and wanting in your life. We got the moon. What is it that you need to be honest with yourself about? More realistic about? There's a need to separate fantasy from what's actually real. But at the same time, like the message that we've gotten before, and this is also a message of following your intuition as well. So this could be when you're creating as well to follow your intuition. But what is also coming up is remember how I'm saying um, to use your imagination and things like that. This is a card of, this is not saying that you're crazy. This is not saying that you are in a state of illusion with everything we've talked about before. This is actually at this point saying that your the fantasy world is going to get you somewhere. Like obviously you don't want to like... Not think realistic at some point, but definitely your imagination is very important. And we got five of cups. So not feeling there's something that maybe either during the Jupiter retrograde you will feel disappointed by, let down by. There's some lost opportunities here or that you will feel are lost opportunities. But like I said, there's going to be blessings in the skies for you. Um, so make sure to get those cups that are sitting upright and don't worry about what's on the ground, basically. So, yeah, and notice how the color schemes on these cards, two cards are just about the same also. It's a lot of blue and like greenish, turquoisey looking colors there. So, all right. So now we're going to get the affirmation for your pile. Pile one, I imagine myself living my ideal life. So remember we talked about imagination a couple of times. We have the number 22 here. Um, that's your affirmation to repeat to yourself. I imagine myself living my ideal life. So visualization is the key for you all. 
during this Jupiter retrograde. So that is what I have for you guys. Do make sure to check out Monique M and Mystics or Magic. Their links are going to be in the description box below to visit their channels as well as um, receive guidance on the same subject um, from their videos. Make sure you let them know that I sent you. If you're coming from them, I appreciate it. I wish you love and light and hope you were able to get something out of this reading. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to book a reading, again, everything's in the description box below. My email address, everything. I wish you love and light and hope to connect with you again soon. And take care. Pile two. Jupiter retrograde, what's coming up? All right. Full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. Something is not hitting home for you right now, but this Jupiter retrograde is going to allow for a big eye opener. I do feel like maybe you're needing an intervention or maybe you have had one and it hasn't, you know, sunken in. Um, I do see... And this is not to be harsh, but I do see some hard hitting lessons for you during this Jupiter retrograde. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, it's going to be eye openers. I feel like a lot is going to be revealed to you. Um, some secrets coming out in the open. We also have assessing with the number nine here, your wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like this person is looking at what it is that they are wanting and how to manifest it through that moon phase there is what I feel. So um, definitely observe. Be more cautious when you're observing as well during this Jupiter retrograde. And make sure that you're not getting distracted by background noise or background images is what I'm feeling. The, per the person is trying to look at the moon, but I do feel like it's easy for them to get distracted with the stars and everything else in behind it. Um, keep your eye on that prize, on that goal. We have indigo. You could be an indigo child. Um, the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly, a highly sensitive natural born leader. So maybe you need to step into your leadership power during this Jupiter retrograde, or there could be an offer for you to step into a leadership role. Um, maybe you could be offered a management position or something like that, or just to be the leader of some type of group or something. Don't knock it till you try it is what I'm hearing. Don't shut it out completely before really thinking about it and weighing the pros and cons. Because you can do it if you put your mind to it. Um, insight. So I do feel like you're going to get a lot of advice to consider. During this Jupiter retrograde in which you obviously are needing to follow your own discernment and figuring out whether or not the guidance is for your best interest observe like i said before assess and observe what people are saying to you um because there will be some people to try to test you and try to tell you things that are not right try to tell you things to keep you stuck so make sure you are following your intuition and your own discernment behind other people's advice but for the most part i feel like most people have your uh, best hearted interest or Best interest at heart. I said that completely backwards. Release resentment. For some of you. Uh, okay. I feel like with this release resentment. And what I've just said before release resentment came up. To me I feel like this is about somebody. That you've had resentments towards. For leading you in the wrong direction in the past. And they maybe didn't try to. I feel like they 
for some of you, this person was trying to help you. Um, it's just that they didn't have all their facts straight. They didn't observe. So make sure you observe what other people say, fact check and behind them because they're not possibly 100% sure of what they're talking about. But a lot of these people are trying to help you, I feel. Um... I do see some chances to mend fences with some people this um during this uh planetary shift as well. We got support, love surrounds you. Yeah, so mending fences, meeting new people, repairing old connections, um and things being less one-sided. We have 4444 four, four, four here as well. So we got stability, we have grounded energy as well oops love surrounds you once you yeah. once you release resentments you're gonna see notice that these are kind of the same color scheme these are actually i will take a minute to discuss this deck here this is my deck divine treasures oracle i have one physical copy of this left i will have to order more but in the meantime you are able to get this ready on the printer site if you don't want to wait for my, me to get my copies um and then this is mystic star magics um angel feather messages and she is a part of this collab so check this deck out or her etsy shop out again we'll link their things down below um but you notice that the, the red here is very, is coming out very strongly. So maybe, I do see a lot, a, le, a lot less one-sided energy here. And people willing to embrace you. But you got to let go of some resentments that you're having towards certain people. So new connections can come in and that if you want to reconcile with a specific person, you can do that as well. But if you have hate in your heart or any resentments, it's not going to happen. It's going to keep going the other way. And this is uh, my friend V's deck. She is not in this collab, but it is the Autumn's Delight Oracle. We got Fidelity. Staying committed. Um... I feel like this is all about connection for you guys with the support. Um, and the love surrounds you. You're definitely connecting on deeper levels with people. And you're able to be more yourself around people. During this Jupiter retrograde. So we got North Node, Destiny, Soul School, Learning Curve, Fulfillment, Purpose, Maturing Experience, Fruition, North Star, Process, Development, Practice, Path, Speaking, Blossoming, Becoming, Integrity, and Journey. After this Jupiter retrograde, if things are... A certain way I feel like they're meant to be that way this Jupiter retrograde is bringing about a sense of you being put in the place that you are meant to be in um not trying to force yourself in a position but the universe aligning where you're meant to be in place of you just trying to hope that you can figure it out if that makes sense we have fifth node passion five is a uh, big changes most are usually positive performance entertainment creativity costume play love affairs passion pleasure parties children humor romance disco ball so um I feel like there's a need for you to get out of your comfort zone or maybe you will be kind of put in a position where you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone during this Jupiter retrograde. Um, I see like 
improv, but not in the sense of like acting, but just generally you having to do something, figure out something on the spot. Um, and get creative to solve an issue. I don't feel like you're going to have time to solve it. You're going to have to do it right then and there. But for example, you're going to have to think quick on your feet is what I'm trying to say. This might make you feel pressured, but I feel like you are going to know what to do when that moment comes. So rest assured that you're going to get through that moment. We have Scorpion, New Beginnings. You're invited to instigate change. So like I said, with five, there's changes. But you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Speaking of improv, I honestly don't even know how to spell that if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But improving and improv, you can't see it because it's showing backwards because the way I'm having to film. But um, kind of, I feel like it goes hand in hand. But anyways, based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding, you are promised a beneficial rebirth. So this is kind of like our tower card. And you... I feel like it's a lot of built up tension in you. And again, resentments. But new beginnings can form when you release that. So, yeah. We're going to get some tarot here. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like you can't get out. Remember, though, like we were talking about improv, there's always a way out of something. So just don't think based on what you see, if that makes sense. For example... This person is tied. I never noticed that in this card. This is a light seers uh, oracle or tarot, sorry. And I've never noticed this until now. Um, there's another person here laying in front of her. This person doesn't seem to be restricted at all. They're looking like they're helpless, helpless, but this person has the power to help them out of this situation. To get them unstuck. But for whatever reason, she's still sitting there tied up and she looks like a fly on the wall. She looks like she can help, but for whatever reason, she's not. Maybe it's because she's not allowing her to help. So again, always a way out of something. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's about you being less... Um, Sometimes it's about releasing pride and being less difficult. Because it could be that she has offered her help, but she's refused it. So if you want to get out of stuck energy and that's your way out, why are you just sitting there and not allowing this person to help you out of that rope? Let's see here. Ace of Pentacles, once you allow that, whatever that is that you have found to assist you, you got your prosperity and your abundance coming in. Financial stability or just blessings in general just start to pour out because you've surrendered and you've let something or someone that you, that you needed to allow help you. So we have affirmation for Jupiter retrograde for you guys for pile two. Number six, the only approval I need is my own. Just remember that. 
Your approval is not taken away by allowing somebody to help you or allowing something to help uh, get you out of a situation. This does not mean that you're seeking their approval. You're seeking help in a moment where you need it. So I, the only approval I need is my own. So there's your mantra to repeat to yourself. That is what I have for you, pile number two. Be sure to visit Monique M and the Mystic Star Magic's profiles in their videos for this particular subject with their extended messages. I will have all of their links in the description box below. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share if you feel inclined to. If you like to book a private reading or anything with me, make sure that you are checking out the description box below. Everything's listed there, including my contact information. I wish you love and light, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Welcome, pile number three. So here we are um, with your reading. This is going to be blessings coming toward you in the Jupiter retrograde. This is a three-way collab with myself, Monique M, and Mystic Star Magic. There are links to their videos for this collab, as well as their channels, are going to be in the description box below let's go ahead and get started so number three you guys have first quarter moon in Sagittarius believe in your good luck believe that good things can happen to you don't question it just receive it and th be thankful for the blessing And once you receive the blessing, take action accordingly. The blessing is going to open up a doorway for you to manifest other things. Um, it might seem like a lot of work, but I do feel like you're going to be able to get through it. Stay focused and just make sure that... You are trusting in the universe and trusting in the blessing that you have received. Okay, so we have emotional sensitivity, honor and respect. Your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So some of you may be empaths. Um... Make sure that you are embracing the side of yourself and not feeling like you have to um, hide it or downplay it. I think I've used this word a couple of times this whole video, but it is what it is. Um, connect more with your emotional side. Tune into your emotions. Listen to your needs. And to what your body is trying to tell you when it comes to your emotions as well. And yeah. Surprises. So it looks like a lot of surprises are coming to you. Um, during this Jupiter rush right now. What I feel, oddly enough, is not just because this is a deck that has a lot of sweet goodies in it. Um, I do get a, I don't know if, I don't know. I feel some type of tasting for an event, maybe a wedding cake tasting, or maybe for some type of event that you're hosting or helping with. I don't know. That may make sense later on. Um, just generally speaking, I feel like this is about a variety whether or not whatever I just said resonated or not, this is a variety of things that you'll be able to choose from. And that all have their own element of surprises, regardless of what one you choose. Interesting message, because I don't think I've ever gotten this message with this particular card ever. So definitely that's more so my intuition speaking. Um, but yeah. 
be open to change. So maybe when you are selecting something different, um, doesn't have to be limited to like cakes and stuff like that. I just kind of use it as an example, but for some of you, it could be that literally. Um, try something you have not tried before. For example, if you've chosen this before, go with something different, maybe do a different color. Maybe change the sprinkles for different colors, things like that. Be open to trying something different and doing something different. Release the past and move forward. This is Mystic Star Magic's Oracle deck. She is a part of this collab. Again, make sure you visit um, her, pro her channel or her links and including the link where you can purchase her deck will be um, in the description box below and this is my friend um, V's oracle uh, eye candy oracle but anyways um, yeah release the past and move forward yeah basically again choose something different be open to change it's all coming out in, di in three different ways inconspicuous I think I said that right I feel like with this the least expected thing that you would think would win people over or that would help you win something is what's actually going to help you the less shiny thing the less um the one thing that is not given much attention or thought. All right. So for these two, we have Neptune dreams, imagination, memories, the subconscious self-sacrifice ideas. I've talked about like literally all four of those in each pile. Um, Universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, magic. And then with the second house, assets, um, material world, possessions, finance, talent, value, solidity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security, aesthetics. So, Looks can be very deceiving. I'm going to tell you that now. So during this, I keep wanting to say Mercury retrograde because I'm so used to saying that. But I feel like the bigger picture is not always in the bigger things, basically. You know the saying, big things can come in small packages, right? It goes back around to the surprise and the releasing and the inconspicuous energy where something you're not giving enough attention to is where your answers lie. And I feel like you become more awakened once you realize what that thing is and you choose that thing and you give it a chance and you allow it to do what it needs to do for you. We have Hummingbird Lightness and it reads, it is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination. By doing this, you will make them a reality. Joy is just around the corner, but you have to believe that it is possible to manifest your visions Stop waiting and doubting. So visions has come up several times as well since I've been recording this video. Um, and I feel like this, where's that card? That's not even this card. It was in the other pile that I did it in. Um, maybe I need to watch pile one and actually pile two for this pile will kind of help. Um, Yeah. 
you're standing in your own way when it comes to your manifestations coming to fruition for sure. Um, this Jupiter retrograde is a chance to manifest things that you felt were impossible. In place of taking action, you're doing a lot of waiting. You're doing a lot of second um, guessing. And you just, you're allowing for the opportunity to get away. But during this Jupiter retrograde, it's your time to change that and go a different route and make sure that you are giving attention to what you need to give attention to. Some tarot. Seven of Swords. So be careful with... Uh, Maybe people trying to manipulate you, people trying to steal your ideas or just steal from you in general. Somebody hiding something from you, maybe. Um, somebody hiding behind a mask, so to speak. It could even be you not being honest with yourself about something as well. King of Swords, head Swords. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if somebody's named George watching this. I said Sorge, but completely by accident. King of Swords, head over heart. Energy. Two swords energy here. So there could be some air signs watching this. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini could be in other areas of your chart. Just the energy that um, is taking over you at this time. Or that will come towards you um, during the Jupiter retrograde. Um The heart wants what it wants, and it's okay to answer to what your heart wants. You do not always have to go with um, with the more logical option. Logical is more organized, yes. It may be better for you. But I do feel like you need to challenge yourself. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're using your head over heart where it really matters and counts. So do keep doing that, but don't overdo it. So here's your affirmation for pile. Three, for the Jupiter retrograde, my life gets better by change, not chance. So again, changing the way you do things, changing what you would normally choose, like we've been talking about. So there, there you go. Number 34, you're going to have four plus three, seven, which you'll get seven. I mean, um, that's the number of spirituality. Three is, I feel like, action, teamwork. Four, you got stability, grounded energy. Um there you have it. So my life gets better by change, not chance. So that is what I have for you guys. Please be sure to check out Monique M and Mystic Star Magic. They will have, I will have their videos in the description box below along with um, their channels tagged and also Mystic Star Magic's um, Etsy shop where you can find her deck. So make sure to check that out. Out. I wish you guys love and light. Please make sure you subscribe, leave a like, share if you feel inclined to. If you'd like to contact me for a reading, business inquiries, or anything of the sort, everything's going to be listed in the description box below. I wish you guys love and light, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.